Hi you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel by Ishika. This is Ishika and today I will be talking about your career pathways for biotech graduates. Here in this video, I will be giving you a detailed roadmap how to achieve a good career in biotech field. If you haven't decided yet uh, what to do after your graduation, what to do after your post-graduation, you have no clue, no idea what exams to give, how to prepare, then this is the best video you are up to. And I assure you by this end, by the end of this video, you would be having a clear, better picture what you need to do, how much efforts you need to put. So I hope you guys would stay tuned throughout this video. So without it wasting any further time, let's dig into the topic. So here in this video, we will discuss about the role, the scope, the income, the exams, how you need to be preparing for those entrance exams during your graduation, your post-graduation, how difficult that career path would be. Everything we will, be, we will be discussing in detail. So let's go. So let's see the first point. So most of the uh, biotech graduates, that is after completing the graduation, they opt for this line, that is they study further, they do their post-graduation, they opt for a PhD, then it's their choice if they want to do the post-doctorate thing. So mostly this is the best line one could actually opt for. So for uh, achieving this position that is the scientist level position what you people basically they do their graduation that is they do their BSc first of all and then they give exams certain exams to get into government colleges for their masters for further education that is they give uh, after doing their BSc they basically give GATB they give IIT JAM they give CUET PG uh, these are certain exams they give in order to get into some top tier colleges for their masters and after completing their masters uh, they give these exams that is you can see that is CSIR net they also give UGC net for JRF and SRF post, post so if you think what is JRF and what is SRF then I would say these are the fellowships JRF is the junior research fellowships and SRF is the senior research fellowships in order to do PhD. So here we can see an overall path I have included. Typical path is you have to complete your BSc, then you will be doing your MSc qualified exams that is CSIR net plus you can also include UGC net in order to uh, opt for this position that is your JRF and after having certain uh, work experience you would be also uh, qualifying for your SRF post then you can uh, obviously opt for your PhD and it's up to you if you want to do your post-doctorate thing okay post-doctorate if we have entry level exams then we have GATP we have IT JAM plus we have CVD PG you can give these exams in order to grab a seat in top tier colleges for your master's program so moving on if we see the math or analytical level here it's pretty high and uh, which includes analytical reasoning, biostatistics, data interpretation and mathematical aptitude especially for this uh, CSIR net exams. Moving on, so if we see the income for the GRF position, we see 31,000 per month plus your house rent allowance and for SRF post we see 35,000 per month plus your uh, HR, HRF. Then if we see the difficulty level, it's pretty high and the success rate is 2% if you can see like you have to prepare really hard for uh, you know getting this post and preparation plan if I would like to say maintain a 75% plus I mean or not 75% but 75% plus in your academics apply for internships these are the internships I have included take online courses such as your Coursera and NPTEL then practice mock papers and give test for net and cat exams as I already told you that during your final year you try to sit so sorry during a third year you try to sit for these exams and see what exactly you score and accordingly you push in yourself prepare yourself and try to grab a seat during your final years so the real challenge here is your long academic duration of course or uh, I have already mentioned that if you are very good in studying if you want to study further then you can obviously opt for this particular pathway i mean the academics the scientist pathway i'm talking about uh, if you are aiming for this research field and you are also not ready to prepare for this long 
years of studying then i would not recommend you this line but the people who are interested in studying they are mostly keen interested they are uh, ready to give their heart and soul into this uh, long years of hard work then they can obviously opt for this uh, so let's move on to the next part that is the bioinformatics and computational biology so uh, let me briefly define you what is bioinformatics so when you have a biological data and uh, you want to collect it store it or analyze it through computer technology or statistics then it is bioinformatics for you so let's see the overview it analyzes interpret complex biological data using computational tools including dna sequencing protein folding as well as your genetics and genomics so let's talk about the entry path so for example let's say you are doing your graduation in uh, any of the subject for example your geology botany biotechnology microbiology molecular biology uh, in any of these subjects for example you are doing your graduation and you are aiming uh, bioinformatics as your career goal and then you want to pursue your masters aage ja ke so i would recommend you to uh, do masters in bioinformatics only or microbiology or genetics anything related to these subjects so that it would be easy for you aage ja ke and uh, i would also like to say as bioinformatics is the booming part of biotechnology and many uh, students are also aiming for this line so you need to pop out of the crowd right so you need certain certification you need certain internship to be done you need to know certain languages uh, computer languages such as python c++ or uh, sql and you, you need to do certain internships as well i would be briefly saying uh, so matlab i would be briefly talking about these is video may but uh, other than this if you want me to make a separate video for bioinformatics then you can always comment down below and i would uh, Uh, try to make a video separately on this part so moving on if we see the msc bioinformatics we have these colleges i have mentioned uh, i i'm recommending these colleges and certification courses you can get from uh, coursera and ptl and then uh, self learning code with projects in r python you can do mini projects also in uh, genomics and genetics as well so math level here is pretty high includes algorithm data structure biostatistics and logic building so try not to skip these parts because uh, ye sab obviously is field mein are required then income here we can expect is 3 to 5 lpa in india difficulty level here we expect um, is moderate to high especially for those uh, biological students who need coding and data science relation plan i have already told you languages uh, such as python r sql basics ye sab jana is very important and understanding databases for example unipod blast mini projects you can do in genomics genetics theek hai and then internships also you can do in biotechnica ho gaya tcs life sciences ho gaya or koi bhi internships you can do but uh, if you are doing internships it would obviously make you pop out of the crowd then if you see the challenges here are coding peer for non cs backgrounds requires continuous learning and open source contribution so moving on so let's move on to the next point that is your biotech and it and healthcare analytics bio analyst so before starting this i would like to clear a myth so if you guys think you are from biotech background and you can only fetch a job in biotech field then it's nothing like that you can always get a job in healthcare setup as well so in this world we obviously learn about interdisciplinary sciences that means you can do your graduation in biotechnology then you can do your post graduation in chemistry or physics or whatever subject you like so basically you can you basically you can do everything in biotech you have a background in biotech and you can also do a job in your healthcare setup so that is what healthcare analytics is all about so let's see what's the overview so leverage life sciences data in it system to provide analytics on clinical trials drug safety ehr data and diagnostics so math level here required is a uh, moderate basic statistics is required visual analytics is required which includes your excel and bi tools what is bi tools here it's business intelligence that converts raw data into um, understandable information 
So income here we can expect is four to seven LPA in India and eight to twelve LPA uh, with two to three years of work experience. So so let's move on to the difficulty level. So here we can expect the difficulty level to be moderate. Uh, preparation plan here it includes a uh, few languages that you need to learn that is Excel, SQL, Power BI, and you need to understand clinical data models. So what is clinical data models? When you have a proper information about a patient's healthcare journey as well as clinical trials, so um, you can also get internships in companies such as Tata, Cognizant Life Sciences, Biotechnica, etc. Online courses you can do in Coursera for your uh, healthcare setup thing. So challenges here you can face is competing with CS data science graduates uh, requires domain plus tool combo. Moving on to the next point that is the clinical research associate. So before starting, I would like to briefly describe something about this. So for example, let's assume that a new medicine has been discovered and scientists wants to launch it into the market. So before launching the new medicine in the market, it needs to undergo various clinical tests, clinical research and uh, has to be tested among different population in order to launch, finally launch it in the market. So all these uh, tests, these uh, you know safety trials are conducted under uh, clinical research associate. So these people keep a check. In the they keep a check in the quality of the medicine whether it is safe or not for different population and uh, whether it needs to be launched in the market what are the side effects everything they keep a track so this is the role of the clinical research associate so let's have a quick read over the overview so they manages and monitor clinical trials regulatory documents ensure gcp compliance so the math required here is low focus on protocol adherence timelines and documentation income here we can expect 3.5 to 6 lpa and can grow within i mean and can grow through your work experience and certifications as well so moving on to the difficulty level here we can see is moderate the preparation plan is to get a ICA GCP certification what is GCP certification it is your good uh, clinical practice certification that means uh, you can get this in your NIDH NDH platform it's free take clinical research diploma and uh, can do internship in CROs like ICON PPD etc you can do anywhere you can grab certification you can uh, you know do internships you can do mini projects as well in order to get into these fields very easily so the challenges faced here is side visits audit pressure and field documentation so yeah let's move on so next we have quality control and quality assurance qc and qa so if we see the overview it ensures biotech and pharma products meet standard quality norms like gmp and glp as well as ISO. So GMP is good manufacturing practices, GLP is good laboratory practices. So what is it? Let me give you a clear overview. So what happens? The role of quality control and quality assurance is they keep a check in the quality of the raw materials as well as the in-process uh, material as well as the finished product. So they keep a check uh, on these and they ensure that uh, the quality meets the standard quality of ISO. So the math level required here is pretty low, uh, in limited to basic calculation and standard operating procedures. Income here we can expect 2.5 to 4.5 LPA, so that is the starting and it can grow with your work experience again. Moving on to the difficulty part, we see low to moderate. Coming back to the preparation plan, we see learning GMC, GLP guidelines is very helpful. Aage jaake you can do internships. Uh, you should be having proper knowledge in biochem, your uh, microbiology, analytical techniques. Also, you should be developing few skills as well as need certification. Again, GMP, GLC certification you might need as well as pharma certifications in order to pop out of the crowd again. So challenges faced here are your routine work, your innovations, opportunities, audit and documentation pressure. So let's move on to the next point that is your biotech product sales and marketing. 
i would start by saying that this is the most stable most rewarding uh, department of biotech because without a sales and marketing department no company would ever exist so this is the most crucial and most important department and i would say pretty stable as compared to other departments in biotech so people most people most of the times overlook this uh, sales and marketing part if you are not interested in uh, uh, r&d if you are not interested in qc qa and uh, you also want to pursue a career in biotech you can always opt for your product sales and marketing this would be the best field out for you so let us look into the overview part so communicate technical features of biotech instrument product to customers labs hospital and pharma math required here is low income we can expect 3 to 6 lpa so top so talking about the difficulty part here it's moderate and the preparation plan here you need to develop certain soft skills that is your you should be having good communication skill first of all and you should be having that skill to talk to strangers with good negotiating convincing power and i would say that you need to be confident enough in order to sustain in this post because you would be given a target to complete by your company and uh, you need to develop a certain uh, goal oriented mindset in this field if you want to jump into so the challenges here we can see high travel sales targets required extroversion and persuasion skills as well and also i would say time management plays a key role here because uh, every company would give you certain targets that target would be less sometimes it would be much more so within that time period you need to complete that given target in order to sustain in these uh, fields also i would like to include that uh, whatever crisis a company faces it would never uh, pull down the sales and marketing department because it is the basic department which uh, helps the company to grow as well as uh, to earn profits as well so i would like you guys not to overlook this department as it is very re rewarding aage ja ke so yeah you can check this out so moving on to the last part that is your government exams and regulatory body so here if we check the roles here we have food safety officer post drug inspector lab assistant and forensic lab posts exams you can clear gate bt upsc ssc cgl state pcs math required here is basic reasoning biology based mcq salary we can expect 5 to 8 lpa with strong job security and then uh, we see the difficulty level here it's moderate competition depends on central and state body again so if we talk about the preparation plan what you need to do let's assume so talking about your preparation plan for example let's say you are doing your graduation then you did your post graduation uske baad you are um, clearing your csr net and uh, ugc net and then you can develop skills such as your instrumentation sop writing field portals uske baad you can look for uh, post in your job portals as well and uh, during this you can also uh, have certification of gm gmp and glp as well uh, which obviously would help you aage ja ke you can do internships you can practice mcqs from lucent truman arihant revise molecular biology biochem biotech applications as well so the challenges faced here is there are very few seats again and slower promotions we can see in this field come to an end guys i hope this video was a great help especially for those who were not aware of what exams to uh, give aage ja ke what goals you need to set i would also like to say that you need to discover your skills your subject in order to get into certain fields very smoothly so if you have any further doubts you can comment below in the comment section i am always ready here to reply you guys so stay tuned for further videos Thanks for watching. Do subscribe for more bio related content.